Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at the RSA conference in downtown San Francisco. 40,000 uh, security professionals here talking about how to keep us all safe, especially when we're in autonomous vehicles, especially when we have connected Nest devices. It's a crazy wild world. We're excited to be joined by Derek Mankey, the global security strategist for Fortinet. Welcome. Hey, thanks. Pleasure to be here. Absolutely. Yeah, world so, talks security, right? Well, talk, well I hope so. <laughs> yeah. so for folks that aren't familiar with Fortinet, give us kind of the overview of what you guys are doing. Sure, I mean, ton, tons of different things. Uh, so, you know, my, my department, I, I, I work directly with our global threat intelligence team and our labs. So for, uh, for over 15 years now, we've been building up our labs. We have over 200 threat analysts and researchers worldwide combing through data at any given minute. Um, but the problem is the data. We live in a big data world now. There's so much over, uh, it's very easy to become overwhelmed with data. So we've taken an approach where we, you know, we have a very uh, intelligent human expertise team, but we've uh, invested a lot into automation, machine learning, artificial intelligence. I think you're going to find that's a very important thing moving forward because we need to be able to stay on par with the bad guys. Right, right. Bad guys are very good at automation. They don't have anything holding them down. They're flying full force, so we're trying to keep up to them. And um, you know, there's a lot of great initiatives like Cyber Threat Alliance, of course, so we made a big announcement this week on right. that too. So really, as things have evolved over those 10 years, I mean, the, the bad news is, is the amount of data that you guys have to keep track of is growing exponentially. The good news is, the tools like machine learning and AI yeah. and Spark and Hadoop and you know the tools that you have to use are much more sophisticated as well. Yeah. Right, it kind of works both sides of the coin at the same time. Yeah, but you know what? One, one thing that we found uh, is that with the, there's a lot of information sharing, there's a lot of data being thrown out there. You have to make sense of the data. So a big uh, theme and a big uh, focus of ours is making data actionable. So threat intelligence actionable. How do you cross what we call the last mile? How do you take? Uh, data and information and put it into transparent security controls so the end users, like all of our customers, don't have to do that manually. The manual work is what's killing a lot of people out there. There's a huge gap in cybersecurity uh, professionals out there. People like network administrators, uh, by the time they receive, say, a PDF document or something manual that they have to plug in their, you know, uh, an IP address or an update, it's often too late. A lot of this information is very perishable, very fluid. So we're trying to automate that into the security controls. That comes from a lot of that big data uh, analytics on the back end. Uh, we call it at Fortinet our security fabric. So this is where we can uh, weave in that information into all of our different products. Endpoint, like end to end, right? From endpoint all the way up to the cloud. Uh, and the Cyber Threat Alliance is a very big initiative. So we're a, a founding member of that, along with the other founding members that we mentioned this week. Uh, we're working together to, to share information. And the goal of that is share information on a platform and then as a member of the CTA, founding member, take that information in and push that out into those controls in near real time. That's, that's the big thing. That was thing, the right? big thing, right? Yeah. Because people have shared data before, yeah. but it's really kind of this real time um, uh, emphasis to get it in real time, you know, using things like Spark and, and streaming data so that, that you're not reacting after the fact. I think the old stat they used to quote is, you know, people didn't know they were breached for like 250 yeah. days or whatever it was. Yeah, we're, we're, we're bringing a lot of uh, illumination to, to intelligence as well. Visibility is a big thing. Speed is a very big thing, right? How can we get that information out very quickly? Because like I said, the bad guys are moving a million miles a minute. So it's a, it's, it's a really important initiative, what we're doing with that. And I think um, the other thing is the quality of information. A lot of information is too hastily shared. and. I think humans, um, we're, we're at that, that tipping point right now, right, where humans uh, can't fully trust automation. It's like autonomous vehicles. Right, You're right. not going to put it fully in control, right? You have to start getting uh, trust exercised with it, and that's what we're starting to do with a lot of this intelligence. But it's interesting, in the keynote this morning, one of the new threats they, they highlighted is people actually feeding the algorithms bad information. Uh, poisoning, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, salting yeah. the algorithm, yeah. I think is what they call yeah, it, yeah. to yeah. send it down a different path than it should be going. Yeah, I mean, the bad guys creative. will put all, all the stops for obfuscation and evasion techniques, right? But that's another uh, really nice thing about <clears throat> the Cyber Threat Alliance is that we're all um, collaborating, so we're giving confidence ratings to this. So it's also a quality assurance system, which the industry uh, very badly needs, in my opinion, too. Right? So what's next? Looking at 2017, we're getting started as February, whatever it is, oh, it's Valentine's Day, February 14th. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. Happy, happy Valentine's. <laughs> uh, so a year from now, when we talk, 
what's top of mind priorities? What are you working on uh, you know, for the next little while? Yeah, absolutely. So again, we're, we're going down the SEMO automation. <clears throat> You're going to see a lot on the security fabric that we have, right? So this is how we can have machines automatically learning about environments, automatically adapting to environments. You look at a lot of security problems out there, a lot of the times it's security 101. It's people with misconfiguring firewalls, misconfiguring policies and devices, not having a proper security device in, prop, in, in front of their crown jewels or their asset, their, their, uh, their digital assets. So um, that is a big theme that we're doing, is taking that intelligence and making the, uh, you know, starting to empower uh, our products and solutions to make intelligent decisions on their own. Um, right. That's a very big leap forward and uh, we've made significant progress with that's that. It's interesting yeah. that you mentioned that, that there's still a lot of one-on-one work that, that necessarily yeah. isn't, is, people aren't doing to the degree that they that they should. There was a great yeah. line in the in the keynote this morning that every company has at least one person hmm. that will click on anything. Weakest link <laughs> in the chain, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, well Derek, thanks for stopping by and uh, congrats on a great show and really uh, some exciting stuff with that Cyber Threat Alliance. Great, yeah, thanks, it's a pleasure. All right, he's Derek Manley. I'm Jeff Frick, you're watching theCUBE from RSA in downtown San Francisco. Thanks for watching.